Welcome back to Cinema Flix Music Picks. I'm Davey, your host with the most, the beast with the least. Least I can do today is another brand new album review. Out today is the return of Paramore. This is why. So it's been a hot minute since their last album, good few years now. Um, they haven't just been reclusive though. Haley Williams has released um, a couple of solo albums in that time. Um, but in terms of this the space between albums, it's been quite a quantum one for them because not only have we all experienced the pandemic and things which has changed everything and flipped the world on its axis, um, but as Haley Williams notes um, in an interview she gave, the last album they made they were still in their 20s and still thinking we know it all. She's now in her mid 30s and a divorcee and thinking it's not as easy as we think and as someone roughly the same age a couple of years older don't tell um 37 she's 34 um so as r someone roughly the same age i can very much identify with that notion that um things ain't quite what you expected and you have to make do sometimes so that's kind of the theme in the album it's, it's a lot like Paramore albums of the past it is very much about angst and anxiety of your your era your surroundings um, and your culture and your everything around you but it's also an acknowledgement that what that is now is completely different to what it was then um, which is you know quite a mature way of going about your songwriting um, especially for just a pop rock band um, so, in lockdown, as with many bands that we've kind of had albums from in the last year or so, um, they went back to listening to their old favourite records from um, post-punk era and the early 2000s especially. So they're listening to a lot of Block Party and a lot of um, uh, The Strokes. And you can hear that, in fact, you can hear that very much Strokes influence from track one straight away. It starts with, um, this is why the title track starts with a very Strokes-like instrumental part, which is heavy, but with jagged guitar lines. Sounds terrific. Um, I mean, the very first line, the very first lyrics on this record, if you have an opinion, maybe you should shove it. In fact, I'll get the, uh, I'll get the lyrics out because it's it's quite fantastic from, from Haley. She's... Uh, she may she may have gotten a lot older, but she's not lost all that piss and vinegar. If you have an opinion, maybe you should shove it, or maybe you should scream it. Maybe best to keep it to yourself. This is why I don't leave the house. You see, the coast is clear, but you won't catch me out. Oh, why? This is why. Yeah, um, so it's, it's very much, uh, should I keep this to myself or should I scream it out loud? What's the best thing to do at this age? Um, can I still be the angry young artist or do I have to be the, you know, 34 year old divorcee just demurred and quietened by the world? Well, good news is Haley decides, no, nah, I'm only 34, fuck it, I'm still rocking. So we get an absolute banger of a title track to kick us off. I'm not going to go through everything because I think it spoils it. Plus it's a bit dry just listening to someone talking about a whole album. Especially a new one. You want to hear it. You just want to know the rough idea. Um, then a track like The News, which is a song not so much about war, but about how we are just watching events on a screen. On the black mirror, as it were. Um, and I'm noticing that quite a lot with uh, certainly Ukraine. But even now watching events in Turkey, you know, watching them passively and then feeling guilty because I'm being so passive that I can watch something from you know, this horrible suffering in Turkey and uh, Syria and then turn on something else, like a game show, as if that's your two options, you know. And it, that's kind of what the track's about, really. It's, it's kind of about this passive um, acknowledgement that bad stuff's happening but it always seems to be far away so hard to care but no I should it, it's, it's very much a, I'm sorry I wish I you know I wish I did feel more and I feel bad about not but it's hard to to make yourself feel something when it feels so literally foreign um, 
which again is quite a mature concept to to put out there that um, you have empathy but not sympathy, or sometimes sympathy and not empathy, um, and we can you know just turn the channel on the bad news if we don't like it, you know if. Putin's getting you down, then you can stick Game of Thrones on. Yeah, um, but even then, it's not presented in some times they are changing type uh, morality tale. There's still great drumming and some brilliant guitar to play with the drums, which is quite unusual because obviously the bass and drums are usually the ones doing the rhythm playing. In here, the guitar playing in sync with the drums. It's really cool on the news. Um, running out of time. Again, very confessional from Haley. She wonders if after all this, she's just a selfish prick. That's exactly line, just a selfish prick. So it really is a, a therapy album, a self-therapy album, a, a self-analysis um, to kind of see what's my what's my place in the world. Am I, am I really a bad person or am I, am I like everybody else? Or is that bad too? Maybe they're all fucked up. Maybe we're all fucked up. Do I want to be like them if they're fucked up? It's, it's that kind of self-evaluation that you just don't get very much in music, especially from kind of major pop rock acts. Um, and then you get <laughs> Say Comme Ça, um, which will not help you pass your French uh, A-levels, um, but it's still infectious. Say Comme Ça, na 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 Say Comme Ça, na 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 silly um but then it goes into this um dry cleaning one of the best new bands of the last few years um it goes into this talk like let uh, singing that dry cleaning have made very popular um where Haley just talk sings but in a very dry monotonous flat way which is the the dry cleaning method um the dry cleaning method sounds like something from the laundry um, where she sings or says, in a single year I've aged a hundred, my social life a chiropractic appointment, I'm off caffeine on doctor's orders, said it would help my hormones, lucky for me I run on spite and sweet revenge. <laughs> I think Haley's maybe answering her questions a bit, is she still a bit of a prick? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's fantastic and who can't relate to that a single year of aged 100 didn't we all feel that during the lockdown um, my social life a chiropractic appointment again didn't we all feel that where it's like Christ, if I do one interesting thing a month that's about it um, you know, I'm off caffeine but it's ok I run on spite and sweet revenge that's just a brilliant lyric that's just phenomenal um, and again I'm not going to go through everything there's only 10 tracks on here so I don't Big clips down here, that's why there's nothing exciting there. Um, but Liars, for example, is another great track which you'd think the Liars would be, you know, in general pop rock realm, it's going to be You're a Liar, You Did This to Me, and you know, maybe a relationship song, that kind of thing. Haley's the liar, she's calling herself a liar in the song, um, and recognizing that she's, she's um, the one who's been. Liberal with the truth, to use the uh, more opposite term in Parliament. So it it takes a lot of um, self reflection from Haley this album, and it's a very mature album, but playful musically, and that offsets it. And for some, it may be a bridge too far. It may be right. You can't be this confessional. Um, you know, I mean that track, for example, she's singing it in a much higher register and a bit, bit of a Phoebe Bridges kind of way. You can't be that confessional. But also still want the having a rave up, um, you know, absolute bangers, brown guitar and great rock stuff. I think you can. I think you can do whatever the fuck you want in music. And if someone says you can, it's all the more reason why you absolutely should. And to me, and I know a lot of fans have kind of been turned off by the tracks that have been released so far. To me, I think this is the best Paramore I've ever been ever. Um, yeah, ever and. Maybe that's because, again, I'm the same age as, as they are now, kind of coming through with these realisations, and I'm much more interested in, in uh, these kind of realisations um, that you hit after your, certainly after your teens, but long after your twenties as well, that the world doesn't revolve around you, and you have a very minor part to play in events, um, but you still like to enjoy, you know, rocking out with... Uh, 
on a Friday night, even if you'd have to worry about the chiropractor appointment on Monday morning. Uh, yeah, that's aging for you, kids. Um, but I recommend it. I recommend it. Um, again, as always, I'm going to stick a track in the comments below for you to to try it. I'll pick one of the ones I've already discussed, um, and you can you can let me know if you make anything of them. And if you don't, hey, I didn't make it. I'm not going to take it personally. But I like it. I like it a lot. I think it's I think it's a a mature record done in a childish way, which yeah, that's always going to tickle me. So. Well, folks, we've passed the 10 minute mark as always. These five minute reviews never go five minutes, do they? Oh, well, what a pity. Never mind. As always, stay very safe out there and uh, love and uh, mercy.